Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Eddie here and welcome back to GTE. And what we got right here is a very special sneaker, one of the most unique sneakers that released in 2021 so far. But before we get right into it, make sure that you guys smash that like button. And if you see anything that you like throughout the video, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. So by the title of the video or the color of this box, you guys already know that this is a Yeezy sneaker. But more specifically, when you see that there's no print on top of the box, this is definitely not a regular Yeezy Boost or a 350. This is actually a Yeezy Foam Runner. So let's just get right into it. So we have a more sustainable small box and this is kind of the vibe that Kanye has been going with with his most recent sneakers. And when you open the lid right here, you have foam. And then when you take out all of this paper, we have none other than the Yeezy Foam Runner clog. So this is definitely one of the most unique shoes of the year. And please let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, because this is a really special shoe. I'm really in love with the concept and ideology around the foam runner cog or sneaker, however you want to claim it. Um, there's definitely a variety of ways to call the sneaker. Some people call it a sneaker. Some people call it a clog. Some other people call it a croc lookalike, which to me, I get what they're saying, but it does not look like a croc. It's completely different in its shape and actually comfortability, but let's just get right into it. So again, what we have here is a Yeezy Foam Runner and more specifically in the MXT Moon Gray colorway. And this shoe has had everybody in a frenzy, whether it's for good reasons or for bad reasons. Some people are saying it's... <laughs> Some people will say it looks like somebody had the regular colorway, like the sand of the Ararat colorway, and they just stepped in a bunch of gravel or mud. And I kind of see why they get that idea. And you know, to me, it's definitely a very unique shoe, but preferably, I would definitely prefer the Ararat colorway or the sand colorway because that's just me. I'm like playing shoes most of the time, depending on you know how the aesthetics work together. So if it's a shoe that's doing too much, it better have a good silhouette and good color blocking. But if it's not, I'm probably not gonna use it. But overall, this is definitely a good shoe. I give it a probably, I give it probably an eight out of 10, honestly. The sand and the Ararat colorways are more of like a 9.5 to me because again, that's just my opinion. I prefer it to be simple. And yeah, so just going more into the materials now, this shoe right here is actually one of Kanye's most sustainable shoes, right? So what this is mostly made out of is EVA materials as well as algae and if you know anything about algae it's a kind of plant that grows underwater but it's actually something that can be grown in any type of habitat and it grows really really fast so that's really cool that they're mixing you know a non I don't want to say non-essential plant but somewhat a non-essential plant at least to humans and it's you know it grows fast and it mixes well with the plastic and it comes out to make this pretty comfortable foam material. So if you guys didn't know, I actually owned a pair of the Ararats last year. Um, I actually ended up selling it or whatever, but it was definitely a very comfortable shoe when I tried it on and I'm pretty sure that these will follow suit. But what's interesting about this shoe compared to the two previous um, colorways such as the Ararat and the Sand is that this one was made in China. So if you guys know about Kanye, he's made it his initiative to move Adidas production into the states of the US instead of having it being made in those Chinese factories. And the OG colorway, as well as the colorway that dropped with this pair, the Sand and the Ararat, those were made in US factories and made in the USA. So you would actually see that in the stamp. But if I take this stamp off right here, I'm gonna show you guys what it says. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to cast that on the camera, but it actually does say that it was made in China right at the top. So that's definitely interesting that they made that. And my boy Mark was the one who actually alerted me on this. And I don't know how I didn't even notice that. But yeah, these were made in China more specifically because at least in the U.S. factories right now, they don't have the quality or the knowledge and documentation to create this kind of mixed colorway. So right now in the US, we can only produce a solid colorway. So an all black would be made in the US and all blue, which is actually coming out soon, will be made in the US and all white and sand and Ararat. Furthermore, all those colorways will be made in the US, but colorways that will have different type of touches and colorways and paints, at least for right now, will be made in China. So yeah, guys, from a sustainability perspective, I'm really in love with this shoe. And also, I really love the design of the shoe, contrary to popular belief. You know, this shoe right here has its own kind of life, 
but there's definitely a huge inspiration from the 700s. If you guys look at the 700 models, it has the same bubbles shape right here, but then other than that, it really takes its own shape. So the bottom of this shoe actually reminds me a lot of the 700 model, not only by the shape of the traction, but the holes as well. So in the 700 models, these holes would be boost, and unfortunately this shoe right here does not have boost, but it's somewhat comparable to the Boost. It's not the same, not as comfortable, but still very comfortable at the same time. Since this algae foam material is very soft, I really just love how it feels on the feet, and it kind of feels like you're walking on clouds. And we have more perforations in the toe box area right here for more breathability, as well as more holes around the entire upper. To me, this is definitely a summer type of shoe because one, your feet won't get smelly in these because there's so much holes, you'll be breathing really well in these. And to me, it's just a very stylish shoe or clog, whatever the heck you wanna call it. It's very stylish in my opinion. It goes with a lot and I really love this shoe overall. Preferably for me, I would definitely have liked a solid colorway for my own personal use, but these are still a good sneaker overall and I see a lot of people paying ridiculous prices for these in the sneaker market. So honestly, I would not pay $400 for this shoe right here. It is a shoe that probably costs $1 to make literally in a factory. But you know, the retail of $80 is definitely reasonable in my opinion. Don't pay over $80 for these, seriously. It's a shoe that, you know, over time will, I don't wanna say disintegrate, but it will break down over time, but it's definitely a very comfortable shoe. Do not pay $400 for these. Do not pay over $100 for these. $80 is the price you wanna get for these. And again, my problem, maybe it's not Kanye, maybe it's Adidas pushing this agenda. I believe all sustainable shoes should be widely available. These shoes should not take four hours of your time or two hours of your time or 45 minutes of your time to possibly cop. This shoe should be readily available for everyone. But I guess they're doing this kind of hype rollout in order to gain that attraction, which it already has, for people to then purchase it a lot once you know they have millions of pairs available. And that's kind of what they did with the 350s. They started off you know, having it extremely limited and now there's so much Yeezys available that, you know, People don't even want it anymore. Not everybody, but some people don't want it anymore. So I guess that's the rollout that they're doing first. And then in the near future, these will be available for everyone. So guys, that's my give and that's my take on these. You know what I mean? I really love the shoe again. And other than that, y'all, that's gonna conclude the review of the shoe. And other than that, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Be sure to smash that like button. And if you've seen anything that you like throughout the video, be sure to subscribe down below hit that notification bell. And other than that, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.